Welcome back. Well, low-income high school students face many barriers getting into college, not just financial ones. Yeah, but there is a group trying to help make college not only possible, but also successful. And joining us now is Kelly Sher. She's the program manager for College Possible Milwaukee, along with senior coach Kyle Nicodem and college coach Nancy Kennick. Nice to have all Thanks of you for being today. Here. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so us. much. So what does it mean to be um, an AmeriCorps member? Yeah, an AmeriCorps member is someone who decides to um, give back to a community. They want to dedicate a year of their life to volunteering um, full-time or part-time. There's different kinds of positions out there. All of our college possible ones are full-time. Um, and they want to give back to the community by doing something that helps the community. Um, we focus on education, but there are other um, organizations that do health care or other needs that, that a community may have. Mm -hmm. And how exactly, you kind of mentioned that you have some AmeriCorps members within yep. College Possible. How did the two relate and exactly what do you do when you serve in AmeriCorps for College Possible? Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, for us, almost all of our workforce is AmeriCorps members. So okay. we really take that idealism and excitement that new college graduates or um, soon to be college graduates are really wanting to go and make a change in the world. And so we want to take that energy and excitement and really put it to use um, right away with um, direct service with students. Um, so both Nancy and Kyle are here. They um, are current AmeriCorps members. They're actually both two-year AmeriCorps members, so um, okay. have had now two years where they're really um, giving of their time and everything that they embody about wanting to make a difference in the community for two years. So, so how does it work then? You mm -hmm. serve a, you, as a volunteer, and then how does it help you with college? Well, we're both uh, college graduates already, um, and so in one sense it helps um, gain job skills. Um, we're given a lot of responsibility, uh, so it's a great way to transition from college into the workforce, or both Nancy and I are actually looking to go to grad school, so it gave us an opportunity to kind of explore what uh, field we would like to study when we go to grad school. Okay. Um, and then one of the benefits of being an AmeriCorps member is at the end of your term of service, uh, you get an education award, which can go towards paying off student loans or going towards uh, grad school. Okay. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And within College Possible, what do you do for students? Because you actually go in, you work with a lot of students yep. in the community. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm actually a college coach. Mm -hmm. So I work with over 200 students, um, and I basically help them succeed in college. So I provide them with resources on financial aid, scholarships, and just really help them transition into a more successful college life and hopefully get them to graduate college. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that financial component is so confusing. I mean, a lot of people want help and need help really in navigating that part of it. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm a senior coach at a high school, at Riverside High School. And so that's what we're focusing right now with our, with our seniors is finding scholarships, uh, applying for the FAFSA so you can get federal aid. And the more we go through the process, you realize that there are just countless numbers of scholarships that for all the strangest things that you've <laughs> never even heard of. Um, and so it's been really exciting to see the students be like, I need this money and go just find as many resources as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. AmeriCorps Week is next week. Yes. What exactly is the significance of it? Yeah, AmeriCorps Week is a great time with, that we celebrate AmeriCorps as a national program. Um, and statewide, there's about 15,000 organizations across the country that have AmeriCorps members. So there's a lot of AmeriCorps members. So we want to celebrate volunteerism. We want to encourage other people to take an opportunity to learn about programs that have volunteer opportunities or to spend some time volunteering themselves. Mm -hmm. what what year is it that most of the students participate in the volunteer portion of the program? So our high school students have a couple of mandatory times each year where they need to volunteer. Um, our AmeriCorps members, of course, are volunteering every day that they um, are doing their service in, in, with the high school students. Um, but we also want to encourage that with the students starting at an early age. So right away, when a, in the fall of their very first year of the program, they start with doing a volunteer project. Oh, so someone great. starts in the fall in high school in AmeriCorps? Um, the 
high school students that we that we are there with, our AmeriCorps members are there with. So the okay. AmeriCorps members are only students who have already um, finished college so that they know that process themselves so that they can say, oh, I know it was really hard to get adjusted to college, but you can do it. I believe in you. I was there, and I understand I'll be there for you. And it's promoting right. that success, which yeah. I think is so fantastic. Yeah. So we want to make sure that people have information so that they can find out more about your program, especially because it's something that they can start early in their high school um, career. College Possible is um, the name of the organization. There's a Milwaukee chapter here because it's part of a national group. The phone number for more information is 414-220-9450, or you can go to collegepossible.org slash apply as well. Thanks, all of you, Thank so you. much for being here. It's wonderful. great to have you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.